All right, hello, welcome to someone who has played a whole bunch of Destiny 2, though not since Shadowkeep, uh, gets to play Destiny 1 because it was on sale and I I didn't realize it was still <laughs> playable and buyable. Um, I have technically played Destiny 1 before, so yeah, um, I played Destiny 1 before up until like level 13. That's literally all the Destiny 1 I've ever played. We'll get into more on Destiny as I play more, but... Yeah, this is um, this is a different style of video to what I normally do. This is more in the vein of a roguelike ramble in terms of uh, how I'm recording this. I'm not just taking little bite-sized clips and putting them together later. The idea of a destiny that has all of its campaigns that I could just play through is really appealing to me. I must agree to a limited software license agreement before playing Destiny. Does the agreement say, hey, we have a right to take away parts of a game you already own? And then sell it back to you later. That's maybe that's Destiny 2's agreement, not this one. I just, I would just, I want to play Destiny, but I don't want to play the Destiny that currently exists, because, I mean, maybe I should talk lightly. I'm sure there's Destiny 2 fans watching this, but I, I do not like the direction it took around the time of Shadowkeep onwards in terms of game direction, and I do not think that is an unpopular opinion. Like vaulting old content. What's that about? Shows a lack of faith in your actual story. Holy shit. Why? Why Why did it default to that? That's so weird. Anyway, we're playing a Warlock. Because it's the best class. Um, oh, should I remake my, my Awoken dude from Destiny 2? Wow, I don't remember the... Uh, I don't remember the character creator being any different in Destiny 2, did they change it at all? Well, he doesn't have to be the exact same guy and he could always go have got his hair changed. We're going with blue. Going with blue, everyone. Let's finish. Let's play the actual game. Somewhere on this channel, I have some really old VODs of me playing my first alt through, uh, through a story of Destiny 2, back when it was in the game. Uh, the Red War campaign, they then called it so that they could delete it and pretend like it wasn't like essential to the base game. I wonder if it's back in yet. Anyway, I guess oh, I remember this. They're showing um, humanity discovering the Traveler or something, right? We'll watch it. Yeah, look, it's the astronauts. They're on Mars. It's one small step for um, those dudes. I guess it was a smaller step than on the moon. Oh, that's wild. You can see, like, in their in their movements. Like, the, the visuals are fairly realistic because we're not seeing any faces yet. But you can see in the movements that they're animated. I think we've got better at animating human movements since this cinematic... I love how this is framed as well as like a historical thing. Something about this footage is I guess like the, the, the weird like cutting out of colour there and stuff. It feels very much like historical footage. Which is cool. What are they gonna find? Oh my gosh, why didn't they see that when they were in orbit? Maybe they did. I wonder which one of them was a Titan, Warlock, or a Hunter. <laughs> I wonder if there's actually lore written about those three astronauts. Like, maybe they became the first ones. So, I feel the same way about Destiny 2 that a lot of people feel about Worlds of Warcraft. What the hell is a happy horn? Uh, but yeah, the idea that... Um, the idea that I really enjoyed that game once, but like... Despite... The narrative cinematic trailers tempting me back. I just do not trust them. And I cannot put up with that bullshit anymore. <laughs> a lot of way, a lot of people feel that way about WoW. I feel that way about Destiny too. And again, I do not think this is an unpopular opinion at this point, but it it kind of was by the time I started having it. Oh, the skim does not look as good as I remember. I remember it looking slightly better than this. That's wild. 
But yeah, this scene, I remember this scene when I was playing Destiny 2. Part of me was always a little bit bummed out that I never finished Destiny 1 because I love the idea of, like, my character, my character's origins. Something I'm always, uh, always doing with characters in, like, MMOs I play, and Destiny's kind of an MMO, is, uh, thinking up backstories for them, so kind of bugged me that I couldn't go back and revisit this. I think they did eventually add, like, this mission back in the game or something in Destiny 2. Destiny 2 got weird. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch! Wow, he's so, uh... He's so empathetic. Oh no, it's the baddies. Back when this first came out, everyone was just comparing this to Halo because this was a uh, first new, first new Bungie game since they'd done Halo. Is it possible? There you are. Oh, so you're looking specifically for me? That's interesting. Guardian. Guardian. Hi. Eyes up, Guardian. Oh, ice up, Guardian. Work. You're alive. I am. You don't know how long I've been looking for you. I remember seeing this at E3. I'm a ghost. Actually, now I'm your ghost, and you? Well, you've been dead a long time. So you're going to see a lot of things you won't understand. <laughs> God damn! I love the premise of this, this story so much. Territory. We aren't safe here. I have to get you to the city. Don't worry, I'm still with you. We need to move fast. Let's go. Let's play Destiny, the game, the first one, the original, the OG. We won't survive long out in the open. Oh, 30 frames a second. Oh, 30 frames a second. They never added like a performance mode or anything, did they? Oh, why is it all lowercase in the top left? I don't like that. Um, gosh, how? How postmodern. Um, yeah, I don't think they have any kind of settings for that kind of thing, do they? Oh well, let's go. We'll get used to it. Do you think they'll ever remaster Destiny One? I didn't bring you back just for you to die again. We have to move. I feel like you'll know they're getting desperate when they remaster Destiny One. But then again, like I don't know what they've done in terms of like putting old campaigns in Destiny 2. They might have already, like, quote-unquote remastered it in that manner. I know this location was certainly re-added. Okay. I need to find you a weapon before the Fallen find us. Okay. I need a weapon. Quiet. They're right above us. Okay. Continue sprinting. Destiny 2's launch Hang tight. was so Don't fun. Drive in the dark. We won't. Need more light. I'll see what I can do. I remember. Another one of these hardened military systems. Okay, where are the subtitles? I feel bad talking over dialogue when there's no subtitles. Um, I'm being attacked. Never mind, we'll get back to that. Let me in. Here, I found a rifle. Grab it. Where? Hey, we have weapon. I hope you know how to use that thing. Me too. Um, okay. So where the heck? Ah. Uh, huh. Would it be accessibility? Games can never decide. Okay, apparently language-based just meant disabled, so thanks for that. Um, games can never decide where to put subtitles, like accessibility or audio options. Watch for motion on the tracker. Okay, I'm watching for motion on the tracker. Something I never really bother with in PvE. Definitely feels like... Oh, I tried to melee him and it didn't let me. Oh, wow. This feels a little clunkier than I'm used to. Oh, my God. Yeah, I remember playing this and comparing it to Borderlands the entire time, actually. Oh, it's RB to melee? Oh, I forgot. That is the way Destiny does it, isn't it? If anyone's wondering, I bought... Um, Destiny the Ultimate Collection for £16 on sale. On Xbox. Uh, I don't know when this video is going out, but 
Who knows, maybe it still is. If watching this makes you go, oh man, I want to play Destiny again. I mean, first of all, not my wisest decision. Because I've basically Keep just given money to a company that's laid off a bunch of employees. Not my most ethical decision. <laughs> I didn't really think about that till after I pressed purchase. Um, in fact, not my best decision, like, making content around it either, but we're here now. I just, I just want to fill in the hole between Destiny 1 and 2. Because Destiny 2 was so much loot catching cash. up. Let's see what's inside. <laughs> Yay, loot. Um, oh, sweet. I wonder if I can still learn more about shotguns at bungie.net slash grimoire. Do you think that's still up? Trip mines. Don't touch them. Um, okay. What if I touch them with bullets? Is that okay? Oh, no. Good thing I just acquired a short-range weapon. But yeah, to talk a little bit more about um, what I didn't like, it really was mostly just, like, they lost me at vaulting content. I remember they had a, um, I don't, I think they call them, like, I don't remember, they do the, oh, Vidox, isn't it? They did a Vidox for Shadow Keep or the expansion after it, where they were talking about, like, oh, yeah, we're so excited, because, like, those Vidox, they always try to, like, hype up everything they did. They're like, yeah, we're so excited, we're, we're getting rid of old content so that we can make room for new stuff. And, like, the way they were talking about it was so antithetical to, like, what I wanted from Destiny, which was, you know, an expanding world, not just an interchanging world. Um, I wanted to be able to go back and play through the Red War again at some point. Um, I wanted, like, the Forsaken experience to stick around. And then also just how they were, like weirdly down about like oh yeah we'll, we'll we'll never have an expansion as good as forsaken again and like all this stuff i'm like what are you what are you doing <laughs> sell this game to me <laughs> um and then like the way they monetized it obviously that's a big intensive issue right now apparently they've been selling stuff on eververse for like the same well no sorry for like not the same price that it's been there before but for like more um uh, that the Eververse stuff was mostly ignorable to me, but um The Fallen have a tighter hold on this place than I thought. Just a little bit further. In terms of monetization, I guess think something that always puts me off is the price of the expansions and like how hard it is to get back into the game, especially with vaulted content. Like I wouldn't know where to start with Destiny 2 these days. Like I don't know if the next expansion after Shadowkeep is even still in the game. Um and also I just hated their seasons. This was an old cosmodrome. There's got to be something we can fly out of here. How their seasonal structure? I didn't really mean to make this video just why I have issues with Destiny 2, but uh, we'll stop talking about it Incoming. in a minute. But, um... Just the idea that, like, Crucial Story took place in seasons with content which was immediately deleted into the next season. And also... Like the weapons you'd get and stuff in the season pass. I just mm, too many things adding up to leave a permanent sour taste in my mouth. Which uh, you know they might have fixed some of this stuff in the meantime, but I haven't really heard that they have. Uh, but maybe I just don't know. Again, no, wouldn't know where to start getting back into it. So uh, when I saw this on sale, I was like, oh look, there's some Destiny stuff, some like evergreen Destiny content I could go and play. Why not? So uh, I don't know if I'm going to play it to completion. But I'm, I'm certainly not regretting my purchase so far. Because look, it's Destiny. I like Destiny. I love its universe and story. What I've seen of it. I really like its gunplay, although uh, this is a rougher version of it. But that might just be because I've got a really common gun. But Destiny 2, um, I was talking about playing it when it came out. I remember being like, holy shit, this controls so well. This feels so good to play. I think Destiny 2 has some of the best and most satisfying shooting I've ever experienced. And I really enjoyed the PvP for a while too, but I never played PvP post-Stasis. I remember hearing that Stasis shook things up in a way that people didn't enjoy. Um, but that was around the time I stopped playing, so... Who knows what it's like these days? 
Uh, but I'll I'll definitely see if people are still playing PvP in Destiny 1 and give that a go. I'm sure it's going to be full of people who are really good at the game because it's all they play. <laughs> Seems like a very niche... Uh... Oh, hey, Shanks! I forgot about Shanks. Um, seems like the kind of thing where if you're playing Destiny 1's PvP, you probably know it inside and out, so I'm going to have a bad time. I don't know if I'll necessarily... I was going to say stream that, but I'm not streaming right now. I'm treating this as if it is a stream. <gasps> I leveled up! Wow! Um, yeah, we're going to go Voidwalker. I mean, I don't think we've unlocked Sun... Sun Singer? Huh. That's different. What's it called in Destiny 2? It's different. Is it just called Solar? It might just be called Void and Solar or something, but, um... Yeah. Let's, uh, let's, let's buy, oh my god. This is back when they actually wanted it to be like an RPG with progression and upgrade points and stuff. That's cool. Uh, anyway, yeah. A grenade. Something I've always felt about Destiny 2, even when I was new to it, was that it felt like you could tell there were systems which had been stripped back. Um, like, in terms of subclasses, it I'm felt like, why are they really the there? Ship. Like, be our ticket out of here. with swappable things to spec in and out of, it felt su su like such a weird half measure. In a way, I can't put my finger on it. Oh yeah, okay. They're like, hey, why don't you use the grenade you just got? Oh, also, the first time I played, like, my first 13 levels of Destiny 1 was on PS3. Which might have contributed to me, like, stopping playing it after a while. Because the performance was pretty abysmal. And, you know, we're still at 30 frames here, but it's 30 frames. I think it was, like, 15 on PS3, I felt like, sometimes. There's a I saw you guys spawn in. So I forget how the weapon system works in Destiny 1. Is my shotgun an energy weapon? It is, okay. Like, is, are all secondary weapons energy weapons? Because they changed that up in Destiny 2, I believe, shortly after launch. Come here, you dang drink. He's... There we go. He was annoying me. He was being a bugger. I can't believe I fucking fired Michael Salvatore. Of all people, you are looking to prune back stuff and you get rid of Michael Salvatore? What are you doing? Like, not to downplay the efforts of any staff there, but like, such like a renowned oh, industry uh, figurehead see if I could get us out of here. For, for like, composing soundtracks and stuff. Such a bizarre decision. I wonder if anything more came out of that. I haven't seen it. <gasps> Look, it's me! There's that character I made. Hasn't made a jump in centuries. Oh my god, it's the ship we use. We're lucky the fallen haven't completely picked it clean. Will it fly? Oh, I forgot I have a voice. I can make it work. It's weird. It's weird that the first thing I say is, will it fly? Instead of being like, what where am I? What's happening? Who are you? But that is kind of like Destiny's storytelling in a nutshell, isn't it? It's less... Realism, and more like... <laughs> You're a bard... Bardass? Badass. Why did I say bardass? <laughs> oh, good. Whoa... Why... Why is... Okay, you were making me read that. Sure. Um... Okay, so now that I've done the first mission and said all I really wanted to say about Destiny for now, uh, I'm going to go back to recording these like I normally do with little highlights and clips. Okay, so it's telling me I need to go to the tower and it's telling me I'm not allowed to go to the tower. I think this is because I got put out of orbit at the end of mission one for being AFK. So I'm just going to fucking do this again, I guess. Never mind, it triggered a cutscene and sent me here anyway. Look, it's me. Look, it's the tower. Everyone's level 40 except for this guy. <gasps> this guy's just like me. This guy's just like me for real. So well, this lass. She's just like me for real. See, look, new people play this game. They're probably alts. <laughs> you look pretty cool. 
Holy shit, I want that armor. <laughs> he looks cool as fuck. I didn't even think to mention I actually have a whole fucking playlist full of Destiny 2 content on this channel, so I didn't really need to give all of that backstory. But, you know, I've given it now. Oh wow, they gave me 200 silver. Gee, you shouldn't have. Holy shit. Please, I don't care. I should spend my silver at Tess Everest. Wow. Yes, West. What will what will 200 silver buy me? <gasps> One loot box. Wow, it's crazy. Oh, I want a fucking dad rifle. Are you kidding me? Hell yeah, dude. It's weird. I'm playing this and I'm like, ah, oh, man, it's good to be playing Destiny again. But it's not the Destiny I play. <laughs> oh, hello. Cool. That was unfortunate place for me to stand, apparently. I have to take it to the Crypt Arc and it's an uncommon? Okay, that is archaic. Oh, my Xbox One wireless controller was disconnected. It's funny because I thought I was using an Xbox Series S controller. Was this a loot cave? <laughs> I'm gonna think that every time I see a cave, I'm gonna be like, Was this the loot cave? Maybe it was. I don't know. I never played back then. Hi. <laughs> I like the fact that this is my first time meeting the hive. I have no idea what the fuck's going on. The hive haven't been on Earth in centuries. The darkness could be a lot closer than we think. We should probably get moving. I thought you were supposed to say that wizard came from the moon. Come on, man. Boy, having to travel back to the tower between every single mission kind of gets a little old with all of these loading screens. Yeah, I've got a sparrow. Wee, look at me go. Nyum. This is what I got from my free Eververse loot crate. <laughs> a fucking ghost with devil horns. <laughs> Why? Sure, whatever. What the fuck are you? I'm not supposed to know anything about you yet. <laughs> it's still a ways away. What's funny to me about melee being on RB is that R3 does nothing. Why not just put it there? <laughs> oh my god, they had Ball in the original tower? Holy shit! <gasps> ball, I love Ball! This is the best part of Destiny, playing Ball. Playing Tower Ball. I'm so glad this survived the Red War or whatever. A guardian came here searching Hell for yes. The I His fucking love the moon. <laughs> hey, wait a second. Why is gravity normal? <laughs> Give me moon jumping. What the hell? Oh, this hand cannon can only shoot three times before it needs reloading. <laughs> so shit. I've been here before. <gasps> I've been here in Destiny 2! I know, I, I knew in Destiny 2 it was like a redo of this map. It's cooler. I mean, it's probably cooler if you're doing it the other way around and you're getting to see it all fucked up and haunted, but it's still cool. They're all about a place called the Temple of Crota. It's not far from here. Sounds like a death trap. The Temple of Crota, huh? What an interesting name. I wonder if that name will ever pop up again. Oh shit, is this the place in Destiny 2 where you see the pyramid ship for the first time? Yeah, it appears up there, right? It's like... I was like, whoa, holy shit! I remember that. Good times. <gasps> oh, fuck. What is that? I've never seen anything like it. I've got actual this goosebumps. This must be what Eris was after. We may want to move back. I sure hope this doesn't awaken anything on the moon. What have you done, ghost? We've woken the hive. There it is! He said the thing! God, the music for the hive is so fucking good. I love it. Shit! 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 The hive are raising an army here, preparing to invade Earth. We need to stop them. So giving them the moon wasn't such a good idea after all, huh? Who could have seen that coming? <laughs> this glitch was in the fucking second game as well. God fucking damn it! All right, I'm trying a Crucible game. Um, I have no idea if people still play Crucible. Apparently people love Destiny 1, so let's see how long this takes. Also, I don't know if I've hit the right playlist, I don't know if people queue for this one. Yeah, okay, I guess I should have expected that. <laughs> I 
I've tried a few different playlists and it, it seems pretty dead. Which is unfortunate because I remember really liking some of the maps in Destiny 1 and I never saw them come back for Destiny 2. But um, I guess if people like playing Destiny 1, maybe it's not PvP they like playing in Destiny 1. Maybe maybe it's just PvE or just AFKing in a tower, I guess. Through the fucking legs, come on, dude. The ships look so dinky in this version. I think they beefed them up for Destiny 2. That's why the trajectory is different on that super in 2. This should lead us right to the grave. The world's grave, not ours. Cool, thanks. You don't need to sound so cheerful about it. Someone at Bungie was obsessed with the idea of a grave. Like, you've got the grave mind in Halo 2, and then you've got the world's grave. I mean, maybe. It's a fucking theory. Don't at me. There's unbelievable stuff in here. The Hive have seen thousands of worlds taken by the darkness, and they've been seeding Earth for centuries, waiting for their gods to return. I'll warn the city. Let's get out of here. Yeah, that seems like a pretty major plot to uncover at level 8. <laughs> Oh, I can upgrade my armor! Right, okay, that's a thing. Fuck. Christ. Sure, why not? Oh, ghosts can have actual stats on them? What the fuck? Okay. That's bizarre. I had no idea. How strange. I'll give you whatever answers I can. Nothing is impenetrable. The before time? Oh shit, is this Warlock uh, banned from before COVID? The strikers just fucking defend this ghost for like 17 minutes while he fucking does shit. Christ. That's what like half of them were in Destiny 1. It's super weird to me how much of this I remember from Destiny 2, but also these really old memories I have of playing this back in Destiny 1. And I never connected the two places before, but I am now. <laughs> Fuck. God damn it. Um, well, I don't think I can recover from this. <laughs> Aha! I made it! I survived! <laughs> and I found a golden chest. Great. Cool. That's my first death of the game. Oh, what's the checkpoint system like in this game? Not great! There we go. That did the trick. Venus? But wait a minute, that's not even remotely habitable. How does that work? It's almost like they have some kind of crazy terraforming this technology. <laughs> so, this Age of Triumph book, book completion 0%, I'm like, oh cool, I want 100% that, right? You want 100% anything in a fun game? Complete an activity between Destiny release and the Dark Below release. Awards Age of Triumph book XP. Okay, I guess I'm not fucking completing it then. <laughs> oh, that's not ideal. My first confrontation with effects is with their taken versions. Again, not quite the experience I'm supposed to be having, but it's fine. Who are you? Elsie Bray! Why have you been watching us? I don't even have time to explain why I don't have time to explain. <gasps> she said the thing! How do we find the Awoken? Um... Can I'm an Awoken. Why do I need to know where the Awoken are? I'm an Awoken. Audrey Sov. Dude, we're gonna kill this guy later. <laughs> There's a chance for a weapon Engram to turn into not a weapon, but instead a mote of light. I mean, my, my annoyance hinges on what you can use it for. Can be used to apply experience to your equipped gear. I would rather have a new weapon. 